What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Dre, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I'm about to show y'all how I do my starter wicks step by step. Basically, the first thing you see me doing here is I'm um, parting his hair so that um, he wanted nine wicks. So I'm parting it so that I can part section it off into nine. So as I'm globbing it, I could just go from section to section. So I part it and um I put my rubber band on it so that I it can hold and the, it so it can hold and I could just go from each one to each one as I'm glob as I go So now I'm about to start it I'm just making sure here in the bite that is parted correctly and then here, right here, you'll see me with my crochet needle. It's a, it's with the two, uh, two. They have different needles. They got one with two, one with three, and one with one. So because his hair is really th thick, I start off with my two at the roots, and I'm pulling, you know, the hair in. I'm just going in and out, just kind of pulling the hair all together, all around the glob. And then I go up to my top, I hold it, squeeze it, and seal in the top part of it. So that way I could just go down the glob from there. And then once I hit the top, now you see me here, I'm using my one needle. So just going in and out because the one, it just go, it, the more you go in and out, it just section it, it tighten it up from there. And see each one I be I'm hitting the top part of it first so that way I can seal that part and then I go down my whole glob and just in and out basically that's all you do with your needle you get you a a, a little routine and you just kind of go in and out in and out with the needle the more you go in and out the more tight and it get and because he has starter wicks I'm not going to tighten it like just too much because I don't want to make it skinny. I don't want them to form skinny. I want them to stay like fat and thick, the roots thick, you know. And as time go on, of course, I will, you know, tighten it up more. And actually, too, when it locks it, you know, it tightens itself up. You know, when you first get in wicks, locks, anything, it, do, it does shrinks. It shrinks after a time, so... I'm just going to, you know, do a couple in and out so that way it won't, I won't tighten it up too tight because he do have to actually get it to lock. So he got to go through his stage, the process of it locking. And then the more I touch it up, the more I, um, well, basically once I start touching it up, I'll hit it just on the roots and let the end of it form on its own because it'll lock on his own and form on his own and as the new growth come in i'll touch it up and i usually tell my clients like come give it time to do what it do at least every three months i like to touch it up because by that time your roots don't grow and your hair done grow a little bit the roots done came out so it'd be time for a, a touch up so i usually touch it up like every three months but basically, I'm just in and out, in and out. And I always hold my hand on it and squeeze it. Because when you squeeze it, it helps it form while you, you know, in and out. And you have to go all around each each part of the glob so that it can form. So you'll see me you in the video. you see me going around it, around it, different places. It's because I want to make sure the whole thing is formed. Everything locking in and it's getting its shape. You see it, as you can see it form there. And I'm going on to the next one. I'm hitting the roots, pulling them in so they can tighten up. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure your needle is pointed downward so when it goes in and out, it can pull the hair to you. And this basically the end. 
and this is the before this is the after and before y'all before i let y'all go make sure y'all comment like and subscribe and turn your post notifications on for more videos because i will be coming with more videos of wicks and locks so that y'all can so i can show y'all how i do it step by step thank y'all for watching and see y'all soon